Hi, Liliana. Hi, We're Roger. talking again. We are talking again. We've been friends a lot of years, and you've touched my life and a lot of people around here a lot. So we In a want good way? Por supuesto. Oh. <laughs> See, I can speak Spanish now because of her. <laughs> and okay. so we all want to know, what are you doing in Pittsburgh? How'd you get here? Well, I, I came here. Pittsburgh because my sister was living here mm -hmm. and at that moment I saw that there was uh, not too many Latin American business and I thought that could be a good idea to promote our culture. Argentina is uh, very rich not only in food, drink, mm -hmm. pastries, but also you know our music, the gauchos, oh. uh, so many things. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. So we plan to open a cafe temático mm -hmm. that's been and um, I'm very happy to see that in all those years we really did so many cultural activities. Yes, oh for sure. Now you came from Mendoza. Yes, it's a pretty town near the mountains. Mm -hmm in the middle and in the west of the Argentina. So your mountains are prettier than Mount Washington? Oh, <laughs> of course, it's okay. different, <laughs> but it's yes. Different. Okay, and yes. uh, when you were in Argentina, you did many different things. Yes, I, mainly I was a journalist there. I worked for a TV and a newspaper and mm -hmm. so many I was teaching also journalism mm -hmm, mm -hmm. in secondary school and in the school of journalism. Now one thing I don't understand is uh, you've been a fantastic teacher of the Spanish language here. Uh, you're, you've got a really devoted following. I love to teach. It's a, it's, now what I don't understand is you've developed all these materials yes. all on your own. How did you learn how to be such a, a, a strong language teacher? Well, because uh, you are involved with the people and you know how they think and where are the differences and where are the difficulties. Mm -hmm. So, uh, normally, I don't know, I can say, but maybe if you are uh, a Spanish, you write in the Spanish way. And if you are American, you write the exercise in the American way. Mm -hmm. And you have to be, you know, something. <laughs> that, that yes, you have to follow the people yeah. to see where are the difficulties and what they need. And then you have this is how to put it. Mm -hmm. Yes, I work a lot for years to prepare, you know, the material from the beginning to very advanced, like you. Oh. Well, I have a gigantic um, bag of. It was I just think excellent also material. to focus that in a in a way that if the people have to talk just from the beginning. Yeah, our class knows so much about each other now. We're almost like family. We are family. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And That's I can forget when this, uh, you know, there was uh, the project to turn down the place and. Mm -hmm. We thought that we can survive because survive because there was so many things happened one after the other. You know that the crisis, the closing of the movie theater. Yeah. So you can imagine uh, how it means for us what yeah. we did. Well, the anxiety, as the uh, there were some public meetings, and we we get dozens or hundreds of people out. Yes. To, to and we collect our around 3,000 uh, signature mm -hmm. to keep going. Yeah, we were down there at the zoning board trying to get this, keep this place open. Yeah. And all these other places have closed, and all these great financial institutions have closed, and the Tango Cafe kept the going. Name. Yes. Right. Yeah. So when you got here, initially, there was a lot of tango dancing in here. That was yes. part of the cultural yes. mission. Yes, right? you know, I think there was really a need some, of something like this, mm -hmm. because uh, two or three days before the grand opening, uh, Group Trini and mm -hmm. 
John called me. Mm -hmm. They introduced the Elsane and they say we are the Tangueros of Pittsburgh. Mm -hmm. So they came to the opening mm -hmm. and they danced here. So it was before I opened the door for the public, they were here and dancing and that continued for years. We have a uh, tango lesson, concept of tango, uh, a li live tango. Mm -hmm. um, it was beautiful. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you know you don't want to talk about it, but why did it end? Well, uh, because uh, BMI. Yeah. This is a small place, This is, and you say the right thing, we are family. Mm -hmm. And they start to charge me as I am a uh, um, businesswoman making money with uh, shows. <laughs> right, right. And I pay, you know, even that was too much and for a small business. Yeah. We, we, we were free concerts, you know, free tango lesson, yeah. but they don't care. No. And they have a minimum. They charge us right. if it's a place for 50 people or 40 people. Right. It's not, and it's a place for, <laughs> yeah. for my dear friends. So, but after that, there was another company that they do the same, and both work the same, uh -huh. and was legal. Uh -huh. uh, there are three companies that they do the same. Mm -hmm. they and all they want a piece of cake. It's probably of why that we so don't I have say, a well, lot of music. Enough. Yeah. Enough if it, it, it's enough. Mm -hmm. It's hard to get music, live music, musicians playing or even dancing in tiny places around here. Yeah. It's just not fair. Well, enough of that. No. Now we ended up uh, playing music here every single Wednesday, yes. or almost every Wednesday yes. for yes. years and years and, and years. years. Uh, those are some of the best nights of my life. I've had fantastic times. Just uh, unforgettable, and we'd be here until 2 a.m. then driving ourselves into the office the next day, right? Mm, and right. for you, you were up here so early, uh, just making the bread every single oh, morning yes. by hand. Yes, doing the pastries, yeah. everything. Mm -hmm. Everything is home, homemade. Yeah. yeah, we had all kinds of music. We had uh, Argentinian tangos. Brazilian mm -hmm. bossa nova. We have for a while Domingos de Folklore mm -hmm. and we play our music here yeah. and dance, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. all that. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely and fantastic. poetry, open poetry, mm -hmm. and yeah. Yeah, yeah. And the exhibit. Oh, yeah, art. Art, the We've, exhibit. I can think of, oh, I think at least five art exhibits you've had here. And how many? I think I can think of five. Five big, yeah. Because when it's I open, I have a uh, art craft from Argentina. Mm -hmm. Always we have something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's right. But we had a big one. We had um, let's see. Jóvenes sin well, nombres. That's right. That was uh, Dina Ruta's students. Mm -hmm. They did fantastic things. Right? Yes, with Carnegie Mellon. And another uh, group of her, her uh, students that were much younger that yes. did things with tango. 11 and 13 years old from Colfax. Those were mind-blowing pictures. They were yes. so sophisticated. And for and them, it was very important to have a place to show mm -hmm. what they did. She did another one with her daughter, uh, photographs mm -hmm. and ceramics. That was fantastic. And another for the G20 that yeah, was in Pittsburgh. Right. So she alone was responsible for four yeah, shows. Yeah. Uh, Victor Beltran did his live performance to, art. Well, one no, weekend. he also, well, we have the yeah. permanent uh, picture of him yeah. that uh, he did for, especially for the yeah. coffee shop. Now is this one, but normally mm -hmm. when That's we right. don't have a special exhibit, the mm -hmm. Victor Beltran pictures. Yeah are part of the the building, you know? Really, really. But he did another. Mm -hmm. His marathon uh, art production. He did the production. marathon art, <laughs> yes. That was amazing. Yes. Yeah. Uh, let's see, we've done so many things. We've had concerts here, shows. We've had the Besame band playing here. Mm -hmm. Poetry, workshop, mm -hmm. uh, led in Spanish conversation, the tertulia, mm -hmm. don't forget the tertulia, the tertulias uh, that right. start right now, we open. Right. I'll never forget that. And last thing. Saturday there was a bunch of people here mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. to give the possibility the people that already are speaking fluid English to continue 
practicing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. This so. was very special for me. You know, it was like, well, I did this, but the people give me <laughs> a lot of good things. Was it what you expected? Mm -hmm. Was it what you expected? Well, I didn't know when I opened what I'm going to find. So it was a surprise because everybody is friend here. Mm -hmm. We talk with the people, you know, it's, it's different. If you go to another coffee, it's impersonal. Speaking of coffee, you have the best coffee in Pittsburgh. Mm -hmm. It's a special blend. It yes, exists it's a special no blend. place else in the world. And what about the sandwiches? The sandwiches, the <laughs> homemade bread every and single day. And the bananas. Day. We have good sandwich. stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's been fantastic. We've had, uh, I think, from the first moment that I walked in this door, uh, that one night, six and a half years ago, uh, that I have probably made, I don't know if it's 40 friends or more than 40, 50. I don't know how many friends I've made here through the so music many. and through the language and everything. You are, uh, I remember exactly, exactly the first day that you came with your computer, your scene, and you were watching the people playing the guitar, mm -hmm. okay? And suddenly you get out and come <laughs> back with a huge tuba and I say, well, this is our m music, uh, I don't know how the tuba is gonna, there. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Oh, it was something. Perfect. You know what made me go get it was Melissa's voice singing those bossa novas oh, yes. from Brazil. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. I said, whoa, I have to, I got to get me a piece of this action. So we came in and we played, I think we played four hours, five hours mm -hmm. that night. It yeah. was fantastic. Yeah. And two bands started that night for me. And you know, I remember another couple of Argentina people that were living in Pittsburgh, and when they knew that we opened an Argentina coffee, they came here, and uh, Becky looked at me, I am look at her, and she said, I'm so happy, <laughs> what can I do? She's my best friend yeah, in Pittsburgh, yeah, so yeah. look what she did for me. <laughs> <laughs> it's yes. so fantastic. And Victor. One of my best friends also. Mm -hmm. Just uh, the very second week, I came back one week later, and uh, and I, it looked real busy. I didn't want to bust in, but it turned out it was a wedding reception. Oh, yeah. Do you remember? Yes. And so That's many life. birthdays we celebrate here. Uh -huh. Yeah, I never got so many hugs I got that night. <laughs> yeah. And another friend, well, he, uh, he moved to Canada, but yeah. he was another fan of Tango Cafe every day. Mm -hmm. He uh, talked at uh, Pete after the class, take the bus and come here every single day. Every single day. Yeah. And when he saw that we were busy, he went through the passion and helped us to. Mm -hmm. And I think of my friend My Patricia. first uh, Thanksgiving day was with uh, Danny, Danny. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah? So I have very good... I can have to be very happy. Everything that... Uh, I don't have you know, much money, no. Not at all. <laughs> but I don't want to take my money when I go. <laughs> yeah, right, 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 so right. Everything is here. So I'm a, a rich woman. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, I'm afraid in this country they call your net worth is how much money you have. Yes. And I think there's more to worth than that. A lot more. So we did it. You did it. We all did it, really. Because I feel like we're part of this. We're all part of this. Yeah. On behalf of America, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Or Pittsburgh. Okay. Or at least Squirrel Hill. Or me. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, you will see. A great talk. Is there anything else that you would like to say? Yes. That's it. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.